Welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday right here on Why in the Morning at Michelle Lashira is where you can find me across all my social media platform at Y254 channel is where you can reach out to us. So in this uh, particular session right now, we are having a discussion about IYF International Youth uh, Fellowship. Joining me in studio, I have Johan Kim. So Yo Johan Kim is the chairman of uh, International Youth Fellowship. Africa. Thank you very much for creating time to be there. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. So for our viewers back at home, probably we'll just start off by uh, understanding and finding out what is IYF all about. Yes, uh, IYF uh, stands for, as you have mentioned, International Youth Fellowship. And especially IYF uh, was organized um, by guidance, guiding the youth and tame the hearts of the youth. And because we believe that everything starts from the heart and the difficult life and the suffering also starts from the heart and also the good life and the happiness that many people are yearning for also starts from the heart. That's why uh, as an NGO organization, we found the many NGO organizations that supports and helps youth financially and materialistically um, but what about the mental aspect of it? What about the mind aspect of it? What about the motivational aspect of it? We couldn't find many NGOs and that takes care of the software part of the young people. That's why IYF was uh, founded and to be in charge of that part of the youth. All right, so what are some of the programs that are actually being offered at IYF and who is qualified uh, to be part of this? Uh, programs. Yes, I mean, uh, qualification, if you're a youth, mm -hmm. then everyone is qualified. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then uh, in terms of program, our mainline program is uh, mind education program. Mm -hmm. uh, like I just mentioned, uh, everything is decided according to your mind. How you set your mind, that's how your life is going to be. It's not about money. It's not about your family background. Uh, it's not about where you are from. It's all about the mindset. Um, but people are not so much aware about that world. So we teach mind education and we train people on the mind education. And then many other program follows to support this mind education. One of the uh, uh, model that we have is challenge. Our motto is three, challenge, change, and cohesion. And we consider this challenge as a very important thing. And now to uh, fulfill that, now we have volunteer programs where now we send uh, volunteers to another country. And then for one year, they have to live uh, in that country, they have to learn the language of that country, culture of the language to the volunteer of that country. And while they do that, they face many challenges. But through that, they also learn how to overcome it through the mind. Mm -hmm. And so we have a volunteer programs uh, in lining with mind education. And also we have uh, um, a youth camp, uh, which we are going to now have soon, online youth camp this time because of COVID-19. And also during this camp, we also teach mind education to the youth as well. So let's look at, uh, you are a senior lecturer on mind education for IYF, East and Central Africa. So what is mind education for someone who is watching this, the young person who is looking at this particular uh, discussion and wondering what is mind education? Yes. Usually we are very swift and to follow what we see with our eyes, mm -hmm. and such as uh, all the youth now as they think about their future and they will want to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. And I believe you also will want to be Absolutely, successful as well. Yeah. Yes. And I think you're already successful. You're not on yet. TV, you're a presenter. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Yes, um, yes. as you have mentioned, not yet. Yeah. Some people, they might look at you and say, oh, I want to be like her. Yes, but now you say not yet, which means we always uh, uh, want to be more successful mm -hmm. than where I am, which is good. That is a motivation inside of us. Mm -hmm. and, but now many people also uh, think that they can be successful when they have a lot of money, okay. uh, when they have uh, many materialistic things, uh, just a position. However, that's not everything about the success. We find uh, many people in the high position. We find many people with a lot of money, mm -hmm. like celebrities. But now that money is not everything. If you do not have the right software, then instead money is the one that is going to control your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but if you have the strong mindset, which is the software of our life, now 
that uh, mindset is the one, I am the one who is going to control money. So which life are we going to live? That's why uh, learning about this mindset is uh, very important for the youth. Okay. On, uh, on Sunday of 26th of July, so there was an opening ceremony for the 2020 IYF World Youth Connect. Yes. And uh, just encouraging young people to be part of this program. So what should the young people look out for? Yes, uh, especially uh, we are having this uh, IYF World Youth Connect online platform. And uh, we are doing this... Uh, uh, in different 94 different countries. Mm -hmm. So this is an opportunity where now all the youth around the world can come and see together. Especially we are doing this program uh, on a software called uh, uh, Zoom. I know that you heard about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, on Zoom. So we can, uh, on live, we are able to meet with the youth in West Africa, Southern Africa, East Africa, and in Europe, in America, in Asia. We all meet together mm -hmm. and then we also have a forum, we share our ideas and we believe that connecting ourselves is very important and being able to connect. And so that's why through this platform we are organizing so that they can connect together. Okay. So how do you get to reach out to young people who are not uh, religiously oriented, considering that the IYF uh, has some um, foundational Christianity? Yes. Yes, actually, uh, this mindset is uh, needed not only for Christians, mm -hmm. but it is needed for all the youth. Okay. Yes, because a mindset is not only Christians are the ones uh, who have a mindset. Everybody has a mindset, mm -hmm. the world of the heart and the world of the mind. Mm -hmm. And so this is uh, needed for everyone. And especially uh, if uh, they go to IYF Kenya Facebook, mm -hmm. then they're able to get more information how they can come and also join as well. Because also it's not only about the lecture, and there is also academy classes and group uh, forums and also uh, the forum with uh, European youth and also Asian youth and also uh, with the youth in America. And so we have different kinds of programs. And so uh, even if this is not a Christian program that we are doing here, mm -hmm. and this is a mindset education program that we are doing here. So uh, everyone is welcomed. All right. So the youth, are, the youth are going uh, through a lot of challenges, especially during this time of uh, uncertain times caused by the COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic. Mm -hmm. And mental health is an issue. Yes. And uh, I would like to find out what is this program having in mind for these particular people, yes. young people per se. Yes. Uh, the reason why uh, such a time like this in COVID-19, we are having a lot of uh, mental issues and mental problem is because uh, you know people their communication is very limited now you know you used to go outside you know youth they are very active you know you, you used to go to the club and you used to go meet with people hang mm -hmm. out with people but that is very limited and even if you meet with a group of people you got to leave the social distance mm -hmm. and the people that are like watching you and many people are gathered together mm -hmm. why are they breaking the law and things like that and that's why now that communication that you used to have freely with your friends and with your families, with other people, mm -hmm. now has been uh, uh, drastically you know, reduced. And so that's why because of lack of communication, people are having that kind of difficulties inside of their heart. So now in also mind education, mm -hmm. flow of the heart is also very important. And because also our body, God has amazingly made our body so that you know, even if our blood flows very well in our body, then that has natural power to just cure almost all kinds of disease that we have in our body. In the same way, when our hearts are also able to flow, mm -hmm. and then uh, most of the depression and mental problems that we have, it can be cured. And then the more we conversation that we have, the more we have our hearts also to flow together, and then our mind is also going to be strong and healthy as well. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, yes, it is not easy to meet with people and start talking and sharing your heart, but in such a time like this, I really encourage um, for people to, not, although not with many people, mm -hmm. um, but on a one-on-one -on -one basis with mm -hmm. the social distance and the having the mask on and also having the conversation and let their heart continuously flow together. When their heart flows together, their heart also becomes strong. When their heart is strong, mm -hmm. they are able to also overcome many kinds of situations as well. Mm -hmm. Johan Kim, you're also very much uh, of a businessman. Uh, you see you running lo uh, a media station and you're also 
part of also uh, Mahanam International High School, uh, Mahanam uh, Educational Institute. I would like to find out, is there a strategic plan as uh, you being part of this program uh, that looks at nurturing the intellectual power of young people, just uh, propelling them into uh, not just seeking employment but actually getting into business by themselves? Yes. Uh as you probably uh, can feel, everything that I say is mind, mind, mind. Mm -hmm. I'm a very mindset-oriented person. And so even in terms of entrepreneurship and also business, now it's, I believe that it's all about the mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, if you have a strong mindset, there is this one thing that you always say, there is always a way. But now if your mindset is weak, then this person who has a weak mindset they always say negative words, I can't, it's difficult, it's impossible. Now, I hear many people saying it's difficult, it's impossible to start a business, to do something because of COVID-19. I don't think so. As you have mentioned right now, I'm running Mahanam International High School, Mahanam College, and also GBS TV stations, and so many other things, IYF organization, mm -hmm. uh, chairman here, chairman there. <laughs> but. Uh, I think this chair is enough, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, so many things. But one, there's this one belief, one mindset that I have in me, and that is that no matter what the situation is, mm -hmm. no matter what the difficulties is, if you have a strong mindset, then you have this mindset. There is always a way. Because with that mind that I look at things, that I see a lot of opportunities. But if you believe that it's impossible because of COVID-19, then you look at this one, it still seems like it's impossible. You look at that one, still this one looks like impossible because you're already looking at it with a filter in your eyes thinking that this is impossible. So before we get into any entrepreneurship or any business at this time, one thing that our youth got to do is to change their mindset. No, there is always the way. Let me give one story. Uh, in 1991, uh, this happened in Japan. In Japan, there is a special uh, region called Aomori. And Aomori was a region which was very famous for apples. Do you like apple? Absolutely. Yes, I don't like apple. <laughs> <laughs> There's an apple. Mm -hmm. And because of the big windstorm, all the apples just fell down. And only one third of the apple remained on the tree. So imagine farmers, they eat and live one whole year for one harvest. But two thirds of the old apple have fallen down. That that's why these farmers they were hitting, banging on the ground, and they were crying, and they thought that they failed their business and everything. Imagine you have to survive for one year with that one harvest, but two thirds of the apples have fallen down because of the storm. So while they were crying, there was this one uh, farmer amongst them whose mindset was different, mm -hmm. whose mindset was strong. Everybody was crying in that room. In that situation room, all the farmers gathered together. But this farmer whose mindset was different came and then he stood up like this. Excuse me, my colleagues, until when are we going to cry? Just because you cry does not mean that this situation is going to change. We got to think about a way. If we discuss and think about a way, there is always a way. They began to talk, they began to discuss, and they decided to put a sticker on the apple.